Hey guys, Ultimate here, and today we are working on um, our 2016 BMW 328i. And I'm going to be doing something that is a little bit more uncommon, but is kind of more important in today's time due to direct fuel injection. And today we are going to be installing a oil catch can. Okay, so guys are saying, you know, what is an oil catch can? Um, Basically, an oil catch can is something that will, it's its like a, it's, it's a container that will hold your engine blow by, okay? Um, number one rule of thumb, all cars burn oil, all right? That's a normal thing. Basically, what happens is when your pistons are going up and down, when your pistons are going up and down, your piston rings there's a little gap in all of them and oil will seep down your piston rings and get into the engine crankcase. What that basically does is it builds up pressure in the engine compartment. So what happens is to relieve that pressure back in the day, you would just have a hose that just vented to atmosphere and that engine blow by that oil mist that that exploded oil would basically just go to atmosphere. But due to emissions, uh, cars don't do that anymore. So basically there's a there's a small vacuum line or a vacuum line period that usually goes from your engine to somewhere near your intake manifold. I mean somewhere near your throttle body because your throttle body is a vacuum. It sucks air. So it sucks out that positive you know, that 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 positive buildup in the engine block. And um basically what happens is that oil mist gets pumped back into the engine. The problem with that though is that you're going to get um carbon buildup when oil when oil starts to get hard it gets uh, it gets misty it, it starts to basically turn into like a black soot and it gets hard that's why you have to clean your throttle body and that's why uh, depending on how much oil your car burns when your car starts you might get like a smoke like a smell of a smoke because the oil is sitting in the in the pistons or um something of that nature now what's important about this is whether your car burns oil or not, back then, if your car was an oil burner, to avoid, and I have a picture, I'll show you guys a picture of what the oil buildup looks like. And how to avoid it and what this does to keep that from happening. But back in the day, or this, this period, when your car burns oil, you wanna keep that oil, you wanna keep that burnt oil sludge out of your engine to keep it clean um, whether your car burns oil or not this is effective now in today's time um, the bigger issue and this is a more expensive issue is that cars are direct injection not even back then cars still have it but cars have port injection meaning your fuel injectors will spray spray cleaner on your intake valves as they go up and down to keep your intake valves clean however with direct injection the engine, the, the fuel injector sprays, uh, it sprays the fuel directly into the cylinder wall, mean, meaning that your intake valves do not get cleaned. That's bad. It's really bad. And what happens is you'll get buildup. Um, your engine won't perform well. You'll be getting mis, you could get misfire codes even after you change your, your spark plugs, your ignition coils. You don't have a valve cover leak and you're still getting a misfire more than likely is because your intake valve is so nasty and clogged up with oil sludge that you need to get in there and use some kind of intake valve cleaner or you're going to take it to a dealer get the walnut blast or for instance i'll give you an example i was working on a 2012 audi s5 that had the intake valve build up i will actually include a picture i have a picture of what it looked like Back um, when I first took the intake manifold off and you looked at how dirty and how carboned up the valves were and I'll show a picture of after like it just took me hours of cleaning carbon carbon cleaner intake valve cleaner wire wheel scraping it and cleaning all that stuff up now this car I have you know, it has a hundred and about 20,000 miles now this car really does not burn oil I had this car since it was brand new I've been doing my mobile one full synthetic oil changes with my mobile one or Canon or well, mobile one oil filter and um, this car has been doing me well, but I know around this time, this is where things can get ugly. This is where BMWs start to get a little unreliable. 
So I'm going to be installing an oil catch can just in case um, to avoid, you know, the engine buildup. You don't really see these as much because this is not a performance gain. This is more like a support mod, something to keep your engine going long as possible. You know what I mean? I want this car to last forever. I want the, we're probably going to keep this car forever. So this is going to be essential to keeping this car as long as possible. And what I will do after this too, I will include a follow-up video of you know a, a way to clean your intake valves every oil change because i think that's important i think that'll be very useful if you own a car with direct injection or you own a car that burns oil um if you have a car that's turbocharged turbocharged cars burn oil a lot or, or just you just have a car that's, that has a lot of performance mods the more mods you do to a car can tend to put a little bit more stress on the engine makes your car burn a little bit more oil so um, I'm going to show you a simple representation of how this works with a simple engine. And then I'm going to show you what this is going to look like for the BMW. And why, you know, I, I know I'm talking to you, but I'm sure you want to see, like, how does this work and what does it do? So I'm going to screw this off real quick, right? And I'll say this, too. Um, you can spend as much money as you want on an oil catch can. I've had, I've had oil catch cans that were just nothing. Didn't have no filter, no nothing. You can put some scouring pads in there and that will act as a baffle in the filter and it did just fine for me back when i used to have my uh 2004 g35 so let's screw this off okay now if you're looking in here the only thing about this is this is a amazon ebay slash ebay style oil filter so you usually have one that will say in and out but in a nutshell looking at this from here this is your import. Right here is your import. Notice that it's just a hole that comes right down into the catch can, meaning that this is going to go up to the engine block. This side is your out port. This is where the vacuum is coming from, the, or this is where like your intake manifold line would go, or for instance, the vent that go, the hose that goes to your turbo would go. Notice right here, this is called a bronze micron filter. It has two of them actually, one here and one up here as well. What this does is, as the oil comes down and sits in the can, this will pull up the oil mist, and this will this filter will basically keep all the oil deposits so that only fresh air comes up through here and then back into your intake manifold, keeping the engine clean, your intern the engine internals clean. So I'm going to show you what this looks like on a simple engine, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do for the BMW. Okay, this is a very very simple way to show you where your oil mist will get vacuumed from and notice that my throttle body is right here vacuum is coming in through here meaning it's sucking the uh the the, the oil mist from down here into here back into the intake manifold what this basically does is it acts like a, a a filter this will go in here the vacuum line will go in here and it will be filtered oil air going into the intake manifold so now that you see a very simple way this doesn't have any turbos or anything like that so it's a very simple way to show you how oil filter works sometimes you have a pcv valve here not a lot of cars use them anymore but this is a simple vent hose that goes from the engine block to the to the throttle body so let's get this on okay so the kit came with this this type of bracket like this it came with some hose clamps this is an adapter we're gonna need some screws the mount the filter i mean the catch can so basically from what i've seen it wanted me to do like this as i do it like this what happens let me see something here okay so this is how i'm going to do it you got your bracket like this you got this right here we're gonna use the two little man screws. These are T. These are T tens. T tens. One in here. Get it started. From. And we're just gonna test fit. This is all test fitting right now. And I'm gonna actually turn. My notice how I have my bracket facing like this. Then I'm gonna get my can right here. And we're gonna do. Let's do right about here I think that's good put a screw in here remember we're doing this by hand this is a T T10 
I actually think these are hex bits, but you can get away with using star bits for something like this. So let's get it in there. All right. And then I'm just going to screw this in. All right. Right here where the heat shield is, it's a little 10 mil. Get it, break it off, spin it off like that. Get your bracket set up right here, like so. And I'll make sure I take a picture, but this is kind of how I think we're going to do it. And we're just going to screw you in. Pop these off. One, two, three, and four. Another thing we gotta do here is remove you, just like this. All right, we should be good. Now we're gonna remove this. A little bit of clean, it's rubber. A little bit of, and that should help pull this right up. Yep, boom. Okay. You right here. There's three notches. Uh-huh. And just like that. This pulls right up and out. Then we're gonna lift you up. This should lift right up and out, like so. And just like that, we have access to our intake thing right here to notice this is our vacuum at our engine intake manifold our turbo inlet is down here so let's get these removed nice little simple way to remove this kind of stuff a little bit of brake clean pinch it it's rubber you know i mean it's plastic and rubber we don't want to break this so pull it down just like that look at all Look at that, it's already, you can see the oil in there. What we're gonna do here is intake, I mean this gasket is nice and dirty. Just spray it down, give it a little wipe down. I'm thinking, based off what I'm looking at, this needs to go right here, like so. And we're, we'll cut this too. We're gonna have to cut this to size, but this looks like it goes right here yeah that looks good i'll put this clamp on it this did not come with the kit actually so that's the one little drawback so i'll put that right there it's all test fitting right now this is an adapter for right there yeah what i think all right so let me just get a little bit of clean a little bit of tissue i'm gonna clean this fitting up and then we're gonna get this installed okay so got my little bit of clean and just cleaned up this we want a nice clean um fitting right here now this thing has a gasket right never want to install a gasket dry and get a little bit of silicone paste silicone is great on gaskets because we want this thing to have a good nice little seal put a little bit just like that and going to there you go just make that gasket nice and nice and nice and tangy like that and we're just gonna install it it's a nice firm fit too my goodness as a firm fitting there we go as a nice firm gasket right there and that ain't going nowhere okay made a little bit of an adjustment with my bracket here did it like this so that i get my line right here that's good and then this this flexes so that's wonderful what we're going to do here is hit this with a little bit of brake clean too so good and this just slide right on just like that wonderful 
and the only issue is home. I'm not really crazy about how much this hose has to bend to get here unless I push this out. You know what? I think I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. Do is I'm going to basically trim these because they're too long. Just trim them up. Um, you can you can trim you can trim hoses with like a box cutter or like a razor blade these both do well with cutting these type of hoses so I'm just gonna cut them to size and then we're gonna come back to it just to show you guys what I'm doing like I said razor blade just like this and it's gonna make quick easy work of that hose I'm just not gonna show it cuz this is gonna take me a little bit of time but just get your hose work it down and just trim it all the way down until it's fit to size. So let's get to it. All right, this is one of the things that can happen when you buy an Amazon slash eBay part. Um, this thing is all I needed right here to fix my problem. I think the way the, the, the kit wants you to do it is it basically wants you to cut this and then bend it like really sharp to get the angle. I don't want to do that. I don't, you know, it's okay. This is plastic. I think it will bend. But to me, it's just so much more easier to just buy a hose with some curvature. And what I'm going to do is I'll even, I'll even include the actual hose part number for this. So you can do the same exact thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut this hose like this, probably about something like right here cut that hose so that it sits perfectly like this and then I can put the air box in and test fit it all right so as you can see we have our line connected like I said uh, you don't have to cut this don't cut this like I did it's not worth it I don't want to do it if you just get a hose with like I said I put the actual hose part number that I use if you can find any hose that'll bend like this you'll be good to go but I'm gonna put I'm gonna send you I'm gonna put up this the exact exact part number hose I use for this and then right here I made a small mistake uh, over tighten this and it kind of stripped a little bit so it doesn't hold as much so all I did was I had got a jack puck it's a puck that you use to jack up cars with I just put a jack puck under here just to support this right here so it doesn't move or bobble around and then now we can start putting stuff together. So let's take this out. Bad boy. Help it slide back into place easier. Like this. Like this right here. You in. You're in. Reconnect the hose. Boom. Slides right in. Wonderful. There we go. Like that. Like that. Like this, like that, good, boom. Yep, and now with everything on, I would say that fitment looks pretty damn good, you guys. Nice and nice bit of play, everything's on, all the hooks are clipped in, that's in, that's in. This is tightened down, and just like that, we have an oil catch can installed. We'll start the car up and then we'll see how it sounds. A one drawback to having an oil catch can is that you're gonna have to change it or clean it virtually every time you um you change your oil if you have a car that burns oil a lot you should probably check it every so many thousand miles every so many quarts you have to add to see how much oil blow by you have but besides that we should be okay so let's start this thing up see moment of truth started up perfectly normal so that's wonderful and as you guys can see here everything looks good everything's running mint that looks good you guys so till next time so thanks for watching till next time out